Hello all and welcome to Wild Crochet Designs. My name is Mary and in today's tutorial we are working on part one of Call the Midwife Blanket. It is simply divine. I've been wanting to make this for quite some time now and we're finally getting started. Okay, best part is once we do this bit, all you're doing is repeating it over and over again until your desired length. Let's just talk about exactly what's going to happen in our pattern. Now, I know quite a few people who um, have done the midwife blanket where they pop their double crochets in the spaces. For me, I'll be popping ours in the stitches. So it will be a tiny little bit fiddly. However, I do, and I will, sorry, not do, I will also be popping the easier version for new crochets where you can just pop your double crochets in the spaces. I just find by popping them inside that stitch right there and in the stitches, it makes it more of a neater look. I mean, look at that. How neat does that look? And, you know, I'll show you both the versions so you can have a look, see. But for now, let's just get on with how many sets I've done. I've done one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight sets. Now you'll need to know that when you are doing your stitch count. The yarn we are using today, now you don't have to use this yarn, all right, but this is the yarn that I'm using. And so my regulars know this. Yes, I am allergic to this yarn. I've been scratching nonstop. <laughs> since I started using it so it's going to be a very interesting recording today bear with me on it um, it is a fiddlesticks superb yarn now it's an anti-peeling acrylic okay it is okay let's have a look it is in meters let's get a close up 250 meters or 273 yards it calls for a four millimeter hook which yours truly is going to use today OK, oh, by the way, you will also need your sewing darning needle. You may not because, I mean, this is 100 grams, so you may not take a while before you get through it. Uh, you will need your scissors. Maybe, maybe you won't, but still you'll need. Oh, I was going to say two of, there is, two of these. I couldn't get the other one. <laughs> you'll need two stitch markers. All right. OK, so let's talk um, a little bit about the weight. The weight of this yarn is a DK weight or a number three. So if you use... Um, or an eight ply okay so if you're using a thicker yarn like an aran weight or so on um, then your blanket will be a lot bigger if you use a smaller yarn then your blanket will turn out a lot smaller all right so how big are we going to make our blanket i hear you ask well in width this piece right here is is okay let me show you it is 79 centimeters or roughly 31 inches now this is the size of this in the width without the border so we are going to create a border for our piece and this is upside down for starters <laughs> we are going to create a border for our piece which i don't know maybe one and a half inches two inches on each side um, or maybe five centimeters on each side i haven't really decided yet but if you didn't want to do the border we're doing and you wanted to do like a row of single crochets or row of double crochets around the whole piece just assume that this is the size of width that you're looking at okay um, but we will be working on some more border at the end but not a very big border just you know a good three to four centimeters i really haven't decided yet because i haven't decided what we're doing yet <laughs> <laughs> we'll decide that at the end however i'm allowing between 700 and 800 grams of yarn so you really need eight skeins of a 100 gram ball roughly roughly and we probably won't even use the whole 800 grams we might use like 750 730 it just depends on how big you want your blanket to go in length so you know all the um, items you need so that's great you will also need your book and a pen to get you started now why because okay oh, i hope this works this gets a bit blurry these lines here for some reason call the midwife blanket we need to chain 16 for each block that you see right here again it's upside down <laughs> i'm doing well with the upside down part each block that you see oh not from there sorry from there to there from your double crochet chain one from there to there each block consists of 16 stitches all right so you need a chain of 16 plus another six at the end of the row 
Don't worry about the six for now. Just chain 16 to the amount of blocks that you want. Now, like I said before, we created, I created, eight blocks. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So you do eight times 16 is, <laughs> what is it? I failed maths, but I did write it down somewhere. <laughs> 8 times 16 is 28, all right? So we did, I'm sorry, let's try 128. <laughs> Told you I failed maths. 128 chains. That's an 8, by the way. 128 chains, yes? Once you create the amount of chains that is your multiple of 16, at the end, we add another 6. Don't worry about that 6 for now. Let's just focus on that 128. So what I would like for you to do now is to chain on 128. Let's go ahead and do that now. When you are doing your chains, make sure you leave yourself a nice long tail. I say that because I always leave a, a short one and it just takes forever to wheel in at the end. All right. So grabbing your tail end, wrapping it around your finger once and twice, holding it there and holding it down there, all right? Pass your back loop halfway over, hold it there, pass the other loop all the way over your finger, pop your hook in, giving everything a tug. All right, so you are chaining 128. If you're doing the multiples that I'm doing, we're doing the multiples of eight, okay? So yarn over your hook, pull a loop through once, twice, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Whoops, don't lose that stitch. All right, so now what I want you to do, go right up to 128 and meet me back here in a moment. All righty guys, I've got my chains here. I've only done 48, uh, but as long as you've done your 128, you can't go wrong, okay? Now, from here, you are chaining up another six. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Let's get a nice close up there, just so you can see what I'm doing. Just pop a yarn over your hook for now, because we're going to do a double crochet in the sixth chain from the hook, okay? But we're not just going to pop it in the chains that we usually do. You can if you want, and you're welcome to still do that. But yours truly is going to turn the chain and pop it in these little back bumps that you see here. And I'll show you that in a minute, but for now we are counting six across. So it's one, two, three, four, five, and six. Now that's the loop right there to pop it in, okay? But yours truly is going to turn it over and pop it in the back bump right there. Again, not necessary, but that is where I'm going to pop it, and I'll show you what happens to it in a minute, okay? So we're doing a normal double crochet in that stitch. If you don't want to use a back bump, by all means, just use the normal chain. You've got your three loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through the last two. All right, now we are going to chain one, okay? Yarn over your hook. We're going to turn our work, and you may or may not be able to see it here, there's a bump right there and there's a bump there. So you're skipping your first bump and you're going into the next bump, like so. So there's a chain in between each stitch there and off you go. All right? So you get like a space, a gap. Chain one. Going straight into, not that first bump you come to, but your second one. All right? So it's every second bump that you are putting a double crochet in. And you're doing a chain before you do that double crochet. So skip one, pop a double crochet. In the next one, chain one. Skip in your next one with a double crochet. Chain one. What I would like for you to do now is to go right ahead and do that all the way across. But before you do, grab one of your stitch markers. All right. Now, see that double crochet that we did right there? That's the top of the double crochet. Right next to it is a chain. Can you see that little chain there? Yes. Right next to that one, I would like for you to pop your stitch marker in. So you've got your double crochet, you've got your chain, and then you've got your next chain. 
pop your first stitch marker in there. All right, this is for the newbies so they can find that chain at the end of the row later. Everyone needs to do this now. Keep going ahead, skipping one, double crochet, chain one, skip, double crochet, chain one, skip all the way across until you get to your last three chains and wait for me there. Alrighty guys, here we are at the end of the row. I've got to my last couple of stitches, two or three. I can't even remember what I said before. I think I might have said three. I did mean two. Sorry guys. What you should have is uh, all your double crochets and chain ones across and it should look like that, like a little window looking thing. Yeah. Then you're going to chain one, skip your second last back bump there. I don't know if you can see that. And go right into that very last back bump there and pop your double crochet. All right, so what you should have across here, if you followed um, eight sets or eight boxes by 16, you should have 66 double crochets and chain ones across. So one, two, three, go all the way across, starting from here. This is your first one. This is included as one, two, three, four, go all the way across, and you should have right up to here 66. All right, so go ahead and count that. Okay, now we're going to get on with row number two all right so for row two very very basic row two will be nice and quick and easy for us okay from here we are chaining three one two and three popping a stitch marker let me get a nice close up for you in that third chain now, if you are an avid crocheter or more experienced crocheter, you don't need to do this because you'll be able to see where to pop your hook at the end of the row. Okay, then you are chaining another one, like so. Or if you're an experienced crocheter, just crochet the chain four and turn your work. Now, you can turn it either way you like. I just turn my work because it reminds me which way I turned it, like I'm turning the page in a book. Not necessary to do it this way. You can do it the opposite direction as well. Okay, so from here, we are going to pop our first double crochet in the top of that next double crochet. So we're going to skip the chain and pop our first double crochet there. Where you put that hook is just like that. If you're joining us new and you're new to crochet, pop your hook in the top of that stitch and you have your two loops on top, all right? But before you do, you put yarn over your hook, jump into that first stitch right there, and do your double crochet. Now this is where in the beginning I mentioned that you can pop your next double crochet in the space or in the chain itself. We are going to be doing 15 double crochets across. This is one. So we're doing another 14 across. Okay. So yarn over your hook. If you are new to crochet, go around the whole piece and do your double crochet. Like so. In the space. Then you are doing your double crochet in your next double crochet. And then you're doing it in your next space. All right, so I'm not going to do that because that's not what I want to do. That's just if you are new and you're struggling to do this next step. But if you are new and want to try it, take a risk, okay? Yarn over your hook. You need to pop your hook in that chain right there. Now, that's going to be tricky if you're anything like me and you do your chains tight. I hope you don't. Um, right now, I'm even struggling to get there it is. So when you're popping it in the chain, you are popping it in the two loops on top and that one loop on the bottom. And just do your normal double crochet in that chain. Okay. Then you do a double crochet in your next stitch. And that's one, two, three. You're going to do a double crochet in the next chain. <laughs> hopefully it's not as tight as mine uh, it's four is that right one two three four yep and five all right that's what it should look like now if you were doing them just in the space you wouldn't really be getting that neat look okay so you take a risk if you're new take a risk and try everything at least once that's my opinion <laughs> at least once so off we go what have we got one two three four five let's continue with the stitches so six bring that out a little bit because you know what you're doing now and seven eight 
9. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. And fifteen which goes right in the top of your double crochet. It should look like that. So all your spaces are filled up except for that very first space. All right. So that is actually your first block that you're going to work in. But for now, we are going to chain one. Chain one. Now this is separating the blocks. So we're going to skip this chain and do 15 across the same way we just did 15 here. So we skip the chain and we jump straight into the next double crochet. And now you're doing your 15 across. This is one. And right into those top stitches, you are doing your double crochets across. Okay, so off you go and do your double crochets. I'm going to pop this on fast until I get to the end of this 15 uh, set. And I'm up to my 14th stitch right there. And 15. Now, if you played your cards right, you will always land on a double crochet. Okay. If you did your math correct. So there's your first gap. There's your second space or gap. And this is going to be your third. So chaining one. Skip that space. Pop your double crochet in your next and do your 15 across. That's one, two, three, and so on. All right. I'm not going to sit here and let you watch me do it because I even struggled <laughs> through the fast motion as well. So go ahead, do your 15 across. Let's start from here. 15, chain one, skip one, 15, chain one, skip one, 15 and so on do that all the way across until you get to your very last stitch right here that will be your 15 all right once you get to that 15 i shall meet you back and we'll talk about what we're going to do next all right go ahead and do that now and i'll meet you back here in a moment all righty guys now that's what you should have you should have your chain one spaces and in between each chain one spaces you should have 15 double crochets a space there 15 double crochets, a space there, 15 double crochets, a space there, so on and so on and so on, until you get to the end of your row, which, which will be right here. Now remember before we put the stitch marker right here and not in that first chain, that is your chain one and double crochet, okay, it's classified as that, okay, so now you're chaining one, you're skipping that little chain, that first one, and you're popping your hook in your stitch marker, stitch, you can get it. It's not as tight as mine <laughs> and doing a double crochet all right like so and that is your chain one space and double crochet i hope that makes sense yes all right take that off like so and that is row two all right and oh by the way guys see that very first row you did the very very first row where you had to get into the chains right there and into the back bumps that was the most difficult row of your whole piece i'm telling you it is such an easy easy blanket to make at the beginning of every row we're going to do exactly the same thing so you shouldn't uh worry have to worry about that you're chaining one two and three whoops don't lose that stitch grabbing your stitch marker another chain now, turning your work like normal, and you are popping your double crochet in that first double crochet, like that, and there you go. And we are doing six double crochets across, so it's one, 
two, three. Oh, it's so much easier now, isn't it? <laughs> Four, five, and six. So this is the start of our pattern here now. All right. You're going to chain three. Don't do them so tight. <laughs> One, two, and three. Yarn over the hook. Skipping one, two, three double crochets, popping your hook in that fourth, and you're doing a double crochet. All right, so you've chained your three, you skipped one, two, three, and did a double crochet in your fourth. That's your one double crochet. You need to do another five, so we're doing six again. So two, three, let's slow down for you. Four, I keep forgetting. To slow down sorry guys <laughs> five and six now when you get to your sixth you will be at that little chain one space okay the best part is that reminds you that you need to do because that's your separation of each um, block you need to do a chain one and a double crochet in your next double crochet like that so what you have is that you've got your six across here and your three. That's your set. That's your first set. Then you've got your six and your chain one space there. So you're separating your block. That's your first block done. And you've started your second block right there. So it's one, two, three, four. Five and six and now you're going to start your next block so it's chain one two three that's your next pattern not your next block sorry so you're skipping one two three and you're popping your double crochet in that stitch there the fourth stitch and do your six across that's two three four, five, and six. And if you're at the end of that block, okay? See that? Exactly what you've done there. Okay, easy, yeah? Chain one. And off you go into your next block. All right? Very simple, simple pattern. Two, Three, four, five, six. All right, so there's your six. Now you're doing your last pattern. One, two, and three. Skip one, two, three. Popping into that next stitch with double crochet. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Now, if you play your cards right, you will need to do a chain one and continue doing your blocks all the way across your row. Okay, so head off on your own, do your blocks all the way across your row. When you get to that very last double crochet, chain one and then your stitch marker, wait for me there. Alrighty guys, what you should have is that. You should have chain three space, chain one, chain three, chain one, chain three, chain one, all the way across until you get to your last set. Okay, now if you haven't added up, then you just check your... Um, count when you go across make sure it's all adds up correctly because this is where the pattern is going to change so chaining one yes and jumping remember that little chain space there just jumping straight into your stitch marker there this is the third chain if you're not using stitch markers guys you're jumping into your third chain with a double crochet but mine is so tight here we go <laughs> we're under control all right there we go take out your stitch marker and get ready for row four okay there you go very nice all right so row four um 
little bit tricky, nothing you can't handle. It's just a matter of making sure you get your count right. And your count is exactly the same in every block. So once you get two blocks done, you really know what you're doing, okay? So now you're chaining three, one, two, three, or chain four if you're not using a stitch marker. But if you are using your stitch marker, just pop it in there, like so. Another chain and then turn your work like normal. All right, now we are putting four double crochets across. So double crochet in your first, whoops, second, and third, whoops, <laughs> and fourth, sorry, <laughs> I can't count. <laughs> All right, from here we are chaining three, one, two and three don't leave those too tight here yeah? remember that chain three from the base row there you've got your one two three you need to pop a slip stitch in the second chain so you're skipping that first chain right there if you're not sure just face it to you skipping that first one and you're going into that second one with a slip stitch now if you are new to crochet and you're struggling putting it through the chain just put it around the whole piece like so. All right, it's easier to do it this way. It does get a little bit like it moves around a little bit too much, but it's easier than doing it the other way. So pop your hook in, do your slip stitch, chain one, two, and three. Okay, you can do it that way. Or you can do it like myself, where you are actually popping it in that chain right there, the middle chain. Put your hook in, pull a loop through, and pull it through to the loop on your hook. All right? Or, again, you could have put it around the whole piece. Entirely up to you. Chain one, two, and three. Skip one and two, going into your third double crochet with four double crochets across. One, two, three, and four. Now, the bonus is when you get to here, you are now officially at the end of your first block. And notice how you see the chain one space? You're going to do the same. Chain one, skip that space, jump into your next block. This is the start of your next block with four double crochets. One, two, three, and four. And then you're skipping those two and you're chaining three. One, two, three. Once again, if you are new, slip stitch around your piece like so. But for the rest of us, if you would like to do it the other way, you're skipping that first chain. You're jumping right into that second one. Uh, there. <laughs> Don't split the yarn like me. Pull a loop through. Pull it through to the loop on your hook. And now you're chaining three. One, two, three. Skip one and two, going into your third double crochet with four double crochets across. One, two, three, and four. And again, your fourth one should land at the end of that set. So now you've done one, two sets yes now what I want you to do is copy exactly what we're going to do here and then you're going off on your own and you're going to do the rest yourself all right so what we're going to do here is chain one skip that chain space jump in to the double crochet with four across one two three and four. All right, and again, where should you land? Two double crochets before your space. So now you're chaining one, two, and three. Again, you are either slip stitching around your chains, like so, and then you're chaining your three, yes, or you are, mm, there we go, try that again. 
slip stitching into your chain which is right there for me and then chaining your three one two three skip your two double crochets and do four across one two three and four where you should come up to is there then you chain one skip your space and do your next four and then you do your set again so i would like for you to you can just re-watch this over and over again until you get to the end of your row which will be this very last set right here and i'll meet you back here in a moment all right so here we are at the end of the row you should be on your last double crochet there with your um, stitch marker and your chain space and everything in between and you should chain one yarn over your hook skipping that first chain jumping into your stitch marker stitch like so and there you go take out your stitch marker if you're using stitch markers otherwise you're jumping into that third chain from that chain four space from your previous round okay and so now we are chaining four one two three we're putting our stitch marker in first and then chain one turn your work and as normal we are doing a double crochet into your first double crochet and we are doing three double crochets across so altogether you should have four double crochets on top of your four double crochets from your previous round or row if you will and this is where you should be now if you are new this is what i would like for you to do you're doing two double crochets in that space like so and then you're chaining three okay but for those of you who are not new and would like to do it the other way in each chain you are doing one and two okay now we should all be here yes now we are chaining three one two and three skipping over all of this we are jumping in there new crochets just pop two double crochets in that space like so all right so keep your two there intermediates and more advanced crochets in the last two chains you are putting two double crochets so there's one chain and there's your second last chain so do one double crochet in your second last one double crochet in your last and there we are now up to the part where we're with our new crochets okay so two now we're doing four across here four double crochets one two three and four and i think i have a knot look at that <laughs> don't you love it no <laughs> your fourth one should land on your space with your chain one <laughs> okay get the knot out oh of course this is going to happen now yes okay all right your fourth one should land on the space with your chain one there all right so you are chaining one skipping that space jumping into your next with four double crochets across one two three and four now we're back up to the pattern there but i just want to show you what you've done in that previous row i just forgot to show you but that's what your work should look like if you are doing your double crochets in the chains you will notice how neat that gap looks if you are not it kind of looks a little bit wobbly and wonky but that's okay too because it it's okay and a lot of people do um a lot of people don't i should say a lot of people don't put them in the chains all right so new crochets two double crochets in the space just around your work like so yes take that under for the rest of us one 
and 2. Okay, now everyone needs to do chain 3. 1, 2 and 3. New crochets, 2 double crochets in that space right there. Like so. Yes? Uh, not all of us. <laughs> not all of us. Oh, you know what? I've messed up my chains now too. Good on you, Mare. <laughs> okay, one, two, three. For the rest of us, second last chain, you are doing a double crochet. Last chain, you are doing a double crochet. Without splitting the stitch. Everyone, do four across. One, two, three, and four. Where you should land is your next chain space. Now let me show you where you are. That is where you are. You've done two sets, one and two, and now you're going to copy all your sets all the way across the row, get to that very last double crochet there, and I'll meet you up. Let's just do one more set together so you know what you're doing. From your last four double crochets across, you are chaining one, skipping your chain space, jumping into your next double crochet, like so. And you're doing your three more. And three. And there's that change of colour. Now, just quickly to let you know, when I was doing mine, I didn't allow that to happen. I went all the way across, did my first row. And actually I did three quarters of the third row and it kind of landed in here. And see that white? It changed directly to that white, which is what is happening here. I didn't allow that to happen. I changed my colour at the beginning. Not necessary for you to do that, by the way, guys. I'm sorry, that's just a quick tip there. Now you are putting your two double crochets in that space if you are a new crocheter and you're struggling with the other way. So do your two double crochets right there. And wait for us there for the rest of us we are doing two double crochets one in each stitch one and two now everyone chain one two and three newbies do your two double crochets around your chains like so yes More rabbit crochets can do a one double crochet into the second last chain and a one double crochet into your last chain and then you're going to do your four double crochets across one two three and four all right Okay, so what I would like for you to do is that little set that we did right there, do that over and over and over again until you get to the end of your row. When you get to the end of the row, we'll talk about the very next row. Okay, go ahead and do that now and I'll meet you back here in a moment. Alrighty guys, it should be at the end of the row now. Alright, let's get a nice closer. Your last stitch will be in your double crochet there, then you need to chain your one and jump into that stitch marker. And every time I do it, it's so tight. <laughs> I'm going to take mine out. You go ahead and pop your double crochet in your stitch marker. I'm so naughty. Okay, I'm um, skipping one and we're jumping into that second one right there. Okay. Now, once again, you are chaining three. One, two, three. Add your stitch marker right there. Chain one, turn your work. All right, easy row this one, okay? You're going to skip that first chain space like we do in every round, and you're going to do 15 double crochets across. So one, two, a very easy row, three, four, 
five, six. Now, when you get to this space here, oh, this is for the newbies. You are doing your double crochets around your chains and you're doing three of them. One, two, and three. Like so. So you've got your one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yes, to um, the rest of us who don't want to do that. Do your three double crochets in each chain. So one in each chain, sorry. One. Two. You might find your edges will be a little bit tight. Mine are. And three. Okay. Then... That's your nine across, ten. Whoops, let's try that again. My yarn is tugging everywhere. Sorry, guys. Ten. Whoops, I'm out of frame. Sorry about that. <laughs> Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. And 15. All right, what you should have is that. All right, now that is your first set complete. Now you're going to do a second set. One, or a second box, if you will. They're called boxes as well. Skipping that chain and doing your 15 across. Super duper easy. Two, three, Four, five, six, and three in your space. Newbies go around your chains. For the rest of us, we're going through our chains, if you can get to them. <laughs> five. <laughs> oh, what did I say? No, we're not up to five, are we? <laughs> Hello, just do three in there and we'll count them. I think we're up to nine now. <laughs> I failed maths. All right, here we go. Let's count them again. Sorry. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, and you guessed it, 15, right on that very last double crochet. All right, so that's what you're doing, 15 double crochets all the way across. When you get to your uh, chain three space, you are putting three double crochets in space or three double crochets in your chains, okay? When you get to that very last stitch right there, I shall meet you up. Alrighty guys, you should be right here at the end of the row and what you need to do is like you're doing the same at the end of each row, you are chaining one and popping your double crochet in that lovely tight stitch right there. <laughs> well, it's not too bad that one. Hello. Alright, take out your stitch marker. You're going to love this row. Chain four. One, two, three. Well, three plus your stitch marker. So initially it's chaining four, but we're putting our stitch marker in the third one just to help the newbies. I'm sorry, chain one more. And you are popping a double crochet into your next stitch. Like so. Chain one. Skip one into your next double crochet. Chain one. Skip one. Double crochet. What? Chain one, skip one, double crochet. That's it. Chain one, skip one, double crochet. Chain one, skip one, double crochet. All the way across your row. Chain one, skip one, double crochet. Chain one, skip one. And in this double crochet right here, that will be above your separated stitch anyway. And what you're doing is chaining one, you're skipping that one, and you are jumping straight into your next with a double crochet. Chain one, skip one, 
double crochet, chain one, skip one, double crochet, and so on and so on and so on. So it's chain one, skip one, all the way across your row. Now making sure that when you get to that space right here, see that one right there? You're doing just that. You're doing your double crochet here, you're chaining one, you're skipping your space, and you're jumping into the next one, and so on. It's so easy, such an easy row. Do that all the way across. Get to your very last spot right here, and I shall meet you up there and get ready for what's going to happen next. Alrighty, guys, what you should have is that. Now, let's get a nice close-up and finish off this row. Chaining one. You should be right there and we are popping again we are popping in that stitch marker or stitch right there i think this one's a little too tight for me no no that's okay with our double crochet at the end of the round we're not going to do any more for a minute because i want to show you something just take out your stitch marker what i would like to show you and get excited guys check that out you've done your pattern that's it that is all you need to do let me show you the, the large piece from the beginning of the row until here so now what you're going to be doing from now on is repeating row two three four five six and seven so you're just repeating the next six rows even though i said seven because i counted from two you're repeating the next six rows over and over and over again until you get to your desired length now what is your desired length i hear you ask it's entirely up to how much yarn you have purchased. If you are anything like me and you are going to go to the length that I'm going to and you have 800 grams, then you need to calculate this much. Okay, grab your measuring tape, which is <laughs> here. Okay, now you've measured your width, which I'm assuming it's the same as mine, which from memory, oh, where was it? Let's get rid of that page. We don't need that. Um, was, oh, I didn't write it down, but it was 31 inches, oh, something centimetres, 79 centimetres, that's the one, 79 centimetres, hello, um, or 31 inches, all right? That was the width of our piece. Now, the length of your piece is entirely up to you. Do you want to make the length a similar size to that and kind of make it squarish, or do you want to make it rectangle? Mine's going to be a rectangle, okay? So like I said, it's entirely up to you. So if you want to do the same as me, all you need to do is turn your work to the side, all right, your piece that you have now completed. And right now, you should have that much, which is, let's get a close-up right there. It is either 7 centimetres or 3 inches, roughly around that. So what you need to do for your benefit, how long you want it, is just grab your next seven and seven and seven and so on. Now I am going to do, and this is how much I'm going to do all together for you, is I'm going to do this set is one. I'm going to do 15 of these sets all together. Okay, so we've done one set. You need to do another 14 more you will end up with a lot of yarn left over, like 300 and something grams left over. And that's okay, because quite a few of those grams are going to be used for the border row, okay? So what you will have at the end of your piece is roughly between, oh, I can't even remember now, um, 39 and 41 inches, roughly around there, I can't remember. It doesn't really matter, okay? What you need to remember to do is this set 14 more times. All right, so I'm not going to let you sit here and watch me do 14 sets of this because that will take us like hours. But what I want you to do, I'm going to pop a number up here in a minute. And that number there will take you right back to the very next row right here. This is this row here is this base row. OK, when I pop that number up there in a moment, it'll be this row right here. And all you need to do is repeat that over and over and over again. 14 more times all right that's it guys that's part one of your call the midwife blanket uh, don't forget to like subscribe and share and do all those wonderful things that you guys well pretty much already do for me and join us um, either at some stage next week or the week after for part two now part two will be 
putting a border around our piece. Now, when you get to part two, now I forgot to pop a stitch marker. Here's a little tip, guys. When you do your uh, final stitch and you walk away from your work because you want to go and make a cup of coffee or something or you want to talk to your 10,000 guests, just pop a stitch marker in that little chain right there. So when you walk away, it doesn't matter what you do, that's not going to come undone. When you get to the end of this stitch right here, don't cast off. Just pop a little stitch marker on it or just leave the loop nice and big and wait for me here so that we can create a border row for our Call the Midwife blanket part two, which will be either the end of the week next week or the week after, oh, depending on how long it takes you to do another 14 sets. I have to admit, this did not take long. And once you get used to it, you can do this in front of the TV. Really, it's so simple. And again, newbies, if you want to pop your... Uh, double crochets in the spaces rather than the chains by all means do so but look at that I love it when it's in the chains how gorgeous does it look thank you so much for watching and don't forget to join us on our lives Wednesday afternoon 4 p.m and Saturday mornings 10 a.m Melbourne Australia time every week in the meantime good luck creating the rest of your blanket and I shall meet you back here very soon for part two thanks for joining us and ciao for now